An apparent coup attempt in Bolivia has subsided, with President Luis Arce asserting his authority over the country's military. Earlier, troops led by Army General Commander Juan José Zuniga had stormed the presidential palace and taken up positions in the square outside. News reports indicated a tank slammed the palace doors. But within hours, Zuniga urged the soldiers to withdraw, after leaders from around the world blasted the army's actions as illegal. Arce urged citizens to take to the streets to defend the country's democracy from an apparent coup attempt, after troops seized control of a central square in La Paz which houses government buildings. I am your captain, and I order you to withdraw your soldiers, and I will not allow this insubordination, Arce told Zuniga. We need the Bolivian people to mobilize and organize themselves against this coup d'etat and in favor of democracy, Arce said in a video message filmed at the Great House of the People, the official presidential residence in Bolivia's de facto capital of La Paz. Flanked by members of his cabinet, Arce declared, we cannot allow, once again, attempted coups to claim Bolivian lives. Long live the people of Bolivia. Long live democracy. The ministers shouted, thrusting their left fists into the air. Long live our president, Luis Arce. Zuniga, who was dismissed as commander of the Bolivian army just a day earlier, was later detained and seen being forced into a police vehicle, according to local media. His current whereabouts are unknown. Bolivian Defense Minister Edmundo Novillo told a news conference the armed forces were under control. Bolivia's Attorney General's office said it has launched a criminal investigation against Zuniga and all the other participants involved in the incident. Bolivia has a long history of political instability, including military coups, and the failed takeover comes as the landlocked South American country of about 12 million people struggles with a spiraling economic crisis that has sparked street protests. Estas dos personas se encontraban al interior de un vehículo blindado el cual impactó en contra de las puertas de la Casa de la Democracia de nuestro país, en contra del Palacio Quemado. Y ellos buscaban derrocar un gobierno democráticamente electo, electo con más de 3.4 millones de votos.